starting in San Francisco where things got spicy. Came into the week, the 49ers were the number one seed, had the week off. Huge favorites against the upstart Packers team that beat the Panthers off the Cowboys last week in Dallas. And for about 53 minutes, looked like the old Packers are headed to the NFC title game. But a rookie kicker breach honked a 41-yard field goal late in the fourth quarter. Brock Purdy finally showed up. San Francisco eked out the win. Producer Harry alerted us to this fun fact that I mentioned on the broadcast. Kyle Shanahan teams entering the week, uh, entering the fourth quarter, excuse me, were 0 31 with trailing by five or plus points. That lasted for four seconds. They were down seven. Jake Moody hit the, hit the two yarder with about four seconds to go into the fourth quarter to get inside that number. Didn't matter. 49ers eked out the victory. Brinson, how do you feel What's about up? this 49ers team? You know, I think it was interesting. Um, we'll get to the Ravens game, of course, in a minute, Wilson and Breach. How are you? Um, Breach. By the way, Breach, we did a hey, uh, Antonio Pierce has hired emergency podcast, and Breach was dressed in all Raiders gear. Is there some Bengals person that lost that you're dressed for the funeral for? Or what, what's going on here? Uh, um, you guys always say I look like Matt LaFleur, so I'm dressed for my own funeral here. Oh, I just you lost just like 24. 21 it. game, guys. Come on, Bryson. Right. Give it the program. He wore all black. You got it right. Nice job. Congrats on uh, your neighbors for losing their paintings. Um, I think when you look at this game, you go back to the Ravens and the Texans game, and the Ravens pull away as the one seed. We'll get to that in a minute. But it felt like, oh, all right, the one seeds that we forgot about who'd been off for week 18 because they'd clinched their bye, and then we're off for the bye. We're going to show up and show out and dominate. And – then Jordan Love and the Packers happened. And I, it's, I think it's hard statistically to look at this game and, like, the, Pack, the, the Niners had more, more yards, had a better yards per play, actually converted 63% of their third downs. But if the Packers don't go 2 of 5 in the red zone... They probably win this game easily. If Anders Carlson didn't honk a field goal late, like I feel like this was the, if there was ever, if you think about all the, the Niners and Packers games between Kyle Shanahan and Mike LaFleur or Matt LaFleur, excuse me, over the last few years, this one felt like the one that LaFleur and the Packers should steal. It was the most inexplicable steal, but they should have stolen it. I don't know, man. I this, this it felt like the the Niners were so so lucky to get out of Dodge with a win in the rain in Santa Clara breach. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, you mentioned the stats, but I think a lot of that had to do with that the 49ers kind of dominated the fourth quarter. If you look at the fact that you mentioned the red zone trips, the Packers got inside the 49ers. 15 yard line on each of their first three possessions in this game. And did not score a single touchdown. They scored six points total, two field goals uh, on those three trips inside of San Francisco's 15 yard line. That is a killer. You got to score touchdowns in the red zone. Now, despite that fact, despite those struggles, despite that they couldn't get the ball in the end zone, they were still leading 21 to 14 going in the fourth quarter. So it doesn't matter what happened earlier in the game if you're up by a touchdown going into the fourth quarter. What you can't do is have a total meltdown. I mean, Green Bay. Literally, the first three quarters looked unstoppable. They did not punt in this game until the fourth quarter. They were moving the ball at will. The 49ers could not stop them. I mean, they had the the Packers got stopped on fourth and inches on the weird measurement play. I, you know, maybe you take a second and running the, instead of running the quick QB sneak, maybe you blame the refs, whatever. But that was the only time the 49ers stopped the Packers from scoring points before the fourth quarter. And so it really felt like, and I, you know, I hate to say this because Matt LaFleur was such an awesome coach this season. Jordan Love was awesome for three quarters of this game. Uh, Anders Carlson, not good really at all this season, but so I don't want them in there. But it was just a total meltdown by their brain trust where you look at their fourth quarter possessions, three and out. They did not punt a single game, punt on the first possession of the fourth quarter. They finally get a drive together and missed field goal that you have to make, 41-yarder. It's not a 55. It's not 52. You have to make a 41-yard field goal. And then the interception where it just seemed like Jordan Love was trying to make something happen at the end of the game, but it's first and 10. There's 50 seconds left. You cannot left. throw that pick there. You, you have two timeouts. There is no reason that you have to play hero ball at that point unless you're just so insecure about your kicker making a field goal that you think you have to get down to the 10-yard line 
to make something happen, but that, you just can't make that throw. And so that's it right there. It is. It, it just seems like what they did the first three quarters disappeared. Wilson, hey, who do you blame? Let me, let me well, what, was the, what was the quote from? Um, I oh, the, the the sideline quotes, <laughs> Matt Lafleur. I it, that feels like one of those quotes that was said all, kind of off the record in a team meeting that was not intended for use in a broadcast. But hey, like, Rich, it was every time Anders Carl Anders Carlson goes out there, Matt Lafleur quote praise for praise for him to, that he'll make the field goal. That's insane. So yeah. I don't know. Like I get what you're saying. I don't disagree. The hero ball in the last play can't happen. Uh, the overthrow and the check down. That was just unlucky. That's not, I don't know if I blame Matt LaFleur so much. It's just Jordan Love having some some brain farts with accuracy on the first interception, then with decision making on the second one. And also, look, Aaron Jones ripped off that 50 plus yard run with it when they're at the minus 10 yard line. And they were in position to put the game away. And then the rookie kicker, rookie kicked it up. Cook, yep. Rookie kickered it up. I would argue that for, I'll say for all 53 minutes, I'll give him 53 minutes. Matt LaFleur, Coach the pants off of Kyle Shanahan. Well, hey, hey, Wilson, we back it up, back it up like an extra 60 minutes. Go like let's start before the playoffs. And because I mean, I think this is, you know, we talk about like how like what do we think about a team season, right? Packers season was well, better before than you expected. Get, instance, let me chime in real quick because I don't want to get away from the fourth quarter that Wilson's talking about. Sure. When I mentioned that it was LaFleur, Carlson, and Love in that order. I would put the three and out on LaFleur because you have a running back in Aaron Jones who's averaging six yards a carry, and that three and out was pass, pass, pass. You're up yeah. 21-17 in the fourth quarter. Like, burn some clock, run the ball, do something. I get, I get that. But the thing, the Aaron Jones dro not dropped it. Uh, Jordan Love threw it behind Aaron Jones on that third and two. You so that was that. it. It wasn't, yeah. I'm not it was pouring that rain, too. It was on better. Right, exactly. 